So let's talk about stoichiometry in terms of this chapter where reactions are occurring in solution. First, let's remind ourselves just of stoichiometry. So you've seen reactions like N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. And if 2 grams of nitrogen reacts with an excess of hydrogen, how many grams of ammonia will be formed? So this is just your basic stoichiometry, which we've been doing. Okay, um, 2 grams of N2. Right, we're going to change grams to moles. Then we're going to change moles of nitrogen to moles of ammonia. Right, and then we're going to change moles of ammonia to grams of ammonia. So N2 is 28.02. The ratio is 2 to 1, so 2 to 1. And then ammonia weighs 17.04. Right, this is ammonia we're getting to. And if you do that out, you find out it's 2.43 grams of ammonia. So that's just some nice basic stoichiometry we've already seen. All right. But what if the information is given as molarity and volume instead of grams? Okay, so let's look at this reaction. This is going to happen a lot when reactions are occurring in solution. So you'll notice this is in solution and we get a precipitate forming. Um, so, for instance, if 50 milliliters of 1.5 molar silver nitrate reacts with an excess of sodium chromate, how many grams of silver chromate precipitate will form? Okay, so what you want to look for is anytime they give you both the volume and the molarity, right away, what can you calculate? Well, we can calculate moles, right, because moles is molarity times liters. So moles is going to be 1.5 molar. Remember, got to be liters, so 0 0.05 liters. Okay, and that's going to come out to be 0 0.0750 moles of your silver nitrate. Okay, now the rest of the problem is going to look exactly like the last one. We're going to change moles of silver nitrate to moles of silver chromate, right? So that's one mole of silver chromate, two moles of silver nitrate, and then we're just going to finish with moles to grams of our silver chromate. Okay, so if we know the molar mass of that, which is pretty high, 331.74, we get 12.4 grams. So what was the only difference here? It's just instead of starting with grams, right, and changing it to moles, instead, they give us something else. So we don't do that. We use the molarity and the volume and we can get moles and then the rest of the stoichiometry is exactly the same. So let's look at one more that's a little bit different but pretty similar. So same equation, okay? But now it says how many milliliters of two molar silver nitrate is needed to completely react with 200 milliliters of 1.15 molar sodium chromate, okay? Again, find if they give you both the volume and the molarity of something, because right off the bat now we're going to go ahead and calculate moles. So 1.15 molar times 0.2 liters is going to give us 0 0.230 moles of sodium chromate. Okay, oops, sorry, scribbling a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and change moles of sodium chromate right, to moles of what is it we're looking for? Silver nitrate. Okay, again that's going to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So this becomes 0 0.460 moles of silver nitrate. So now we have the moles of it and we also have the molarity of it and we're looking for the volume. So molarity is moles over liters, and we've got the molarity, and we've got the moles, and we're looking for the liters. So we'll just go ahead and write that out. 2 molar, 0 0.460 moles over x liters. Okay, and this is going to come out to be 0 0.230 liters, or if you prefer, you can write it as 230 milliliters. Okay, so we'll practice some more of this, but we're going to do lots and lots of stoichiometry in solution. Okay, solution stoichiometry.